thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure, dear, my pleasure. We're going to play a game of Never Have I Ever. Okay. The first one is Never Have I Ever Gotten a Tattoo. I have not. Uh, do I look like David Beckham to you? <laughs> Although, you know, I wish I did. Never have I ever had an embarrassing moment at work. I have. You know, one time I actually, <laughs> it was embarrassing. Uh, I handcuffed myself to the toilet. And I don't even remember how, but the toilet got clogged and it was no plunger. So it was just a, it was a terrible day. Let's just, let's just leave it there. Never have I ever used a fake name. I have. Does Rasputin pumpweed count? Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. No, I have not. I'm dry clean only. Never have I ever had a crush on a fictional character. Yes, I have. Cagney and Lacey. Both of them. At the same time. Never have I ever kissed a stranger. I have. Uh, but uh, what a cop does on a stakeout is his own damn business. Never have I ever had an embarrassing username. Phil Phillips 69 Never have I ever been a total fanboy. I have to say I have. Every time Die Hard comes on TV. Hey there, I'm Phil Phillips and I'm about to play Slanguage. I'm a private detective, so figuring out stuff is sort of my job. First word is chirps. I'd say that's like the plural version of chirp. You know, like a bird language. But uh, I guess it's the UK, so you guys add that E on the end of everything, like ye old shop. Chirps is to flirt. Well, how you doing? Exactly like that. I think I got it. Muggy. Muggy. Oh, I know this one. That's when uh, someone's feeling they want to mug somebody. You know, like, uh, I'm feeling a little muggy today, so I think I'll go and take that little old lady's purse because I feel muggy, right? Muggy. Muggy is like to make someone look like a mug, like to take them for a fool. I like mine better. All right, next slang word, mare. Oh, that's either a lady horse or the way uh, you Brits say mare, like mare. Mayor, one of, you know, one of the two. Mayor, mayor of the city. Well, it's also what we say for like, night, short version of like nightmare. Like, I'm having a mare. You're having a really bad time. Next one is Raji. No idea. I'm guessing it's like a soup, something like that. Raji is Geordie for like a violent or aggressive person. Well, you just threw another one out there. Geordie? What does that mean? Geordie's like someone from Newcastle. Oh, is it? Have you never met one? Maybe I have. I just didn't know it was a Geordie. I think you'd know if you met him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Allow it. Allow it. Well, in my line of work, uh, it's usually said by a judge when an attorney objects to something. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure what your judges do. I mean, they still wear those cute little wigs, you know? I mean, what's with that anyway? You ever thought that, uh, who would have thought wearing something that looks like a cotton candy made of marshmallows or something on your head was a good idea? <laughs> Allow it means like to leave something alone, like don't worry about it. Got it, I get it, I get it, all right. Bog roll. It's like an egg roll that's been sitting out in the sun too long. You know, pretty sure I'm wrong about this. That's not right, is it? No, <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat it. Oh. Toilet paper. I know some people that might eat toilet paper. Painting. You know, my, uh, my friend Goofer took a baseball to his head a few years back. This kind of reminds me of how he says painting. Painting, uh, you know, he's got, a, he's got a little problem speaking. Painting is an attractive person. Oh, well, painting. What does Bob's your uncle mean? Bob's your uncle? No, Bob's not my uncle. Bob's my mailman. Bob's my mailman. My, uh, my uncle is Jerry, Jerry. Bob's your uncle is like, there you go, all sorted, all taken care of. Bob's your uncle, like that kind of thing? Hey, Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle, you Hey, got Bob's your uncle. What was it like working with Connie Edwards again? You know, working with Connie's like finding an old shoe. It's a bit uncomfortable at first, but after a while it starts to feel pretty familiar and ready to kick ass again. What's something no one knows about detective work behind closed doors? I'm not allowed to discuss that at this time. There's uh, currently an investigation going on. Crime is so popular at the moment. I mean, what do you think of shows like Making a Murder or Serial? How would you go about solving them? I don't really watch TV much. Uh, or listen to that podcast nonsense. I get enough of that crap in my day to day, and uh, I actually solve shit. You know, I don't play armchair detective. I get shit done. What would you do differently? Probably everything. 
You must have seen some shocking things on the job. What's the craziest thing you've seen at work? Oh, I once caught a guy cheating on his wife with a blender. Now don't ask, yeah, I know, right? Don't ask me how it actually works, but uh, the wife was pretty upset, especially because she bought the blender. <laughs>